Well, folks, have I got a lovely little Irish treat for you today. And no, it's not me. I'm a big Irish treat. But what I have got today is the Hinch Small Batch. It recently won a gold award in its category in the San Francisco uh, International Spirits Competition. So was that award merited? Stay tuned, check out my thoughts. What about you whiskey lovers and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me, Big Al. As you can see, it's a lovely evening here in Northern Ireland. It's actually supposed to be pissing down with rain, but if this is rain, oh yeah, I'll take it all day long. But anyway, you're not here for that, you're here for the whiskey. And this is the entry level introduction whiskey from the Hinch Distillery. And this is another video where I'm supporting local. This is a combination of single malt, single grain whiskies, which have been paired together in small batches and matured for three to four years in first fill bourbon casks. And it's recommended retail price is around 30 quid and it's bottled at 43% ABV. All the links as usual down below, but let's get right on with the tasting. We'll start off with the nose and as usual, if you have a pour of this, put it in your glass and join me in the dram because whiskey is best shared. Slauncha. Right off, there's a lovely fruity floral mix. Then comes the oak, rich caramel, vanilla, those things that you would expect from an Irish whiskey plus a bourbon cask. And then, interestingly, Something that I don't really get a lot in whiskey, red skin peanuts. And if you know me, you know I love red skin peanuts. Oh, come out at the, around the time of my birthday, Halloween. A uh, glorious time of the year for good nuts. Tell me you probably think I'm a nut, but... Eh, well, you wouldn't be wrong, but anyway, let's get on with it. Freshly cut wet grass. And then there's a light marzipan and it blends to a nice wee hint of malt. And then right there on the end, when you get right into the glass, there's a nice wee bite coming from that Korean influence. Really nice, pleasant nose. So let's get right on with the palate. Slauncha. Lemon. Parma violet. Oh, I do love Parma violet. Oh, still get them in some of the little uh, sweet packets that we get for the daughter for movie night and Fridays. Ah, so good. Really, really nice. And there's a wee bit of a raspberry fizz cream soda thing going on as well. Damn, this is nice. Really, really nice impression on the first sip. Those initial things are still there, but what you get now is a wee hint of white spice. What do I mean talking about white spice? White pepper spice. It's gentle, it's nice. It gives a bit of fizz, a bit of effervescence there. And the vanilla now is much thicker. It's more creamy, it's, it's more mouth coating. And it's like a Madagascan vanilla which I always find is a wee bit more flavorful and there's a bit more going on and just a wee bit more oomph. The cat's at the tripod there now and if you knock that over a cat, you'll be sleeping outside the night. Anyway, let's get on with it. What I really like about this is the nose and the flavors. They're not complex, but they're nice and they blend well together. They're all very complementary to each other and that, Madagascan vanilla overtone that's going on there really does sell this nice because there's a wee bit of spice in it there too to give it that bit of an extra edge. What I really like about this is while the flavours, the aromas, they're not overly complex but they're nice, they work well together, they're very complementary and 
that sort of overtone of Madagascan vanilla. It has that wee bit extra that you don't get in your normal vanilla flavour. Wee bit more punch, a wee bit of spiciness with it. Initially, when you take your first sip, you think, you know, this is pretty thin, but then once it transitions across the palate, you realise it's not. It's oily. It coats the palate really well. And the finish itself is actually on the medium to long side, which is really, really nice. You know what? You can't really argue that it got a gold award in its category. I love what the Hinch Distillery is doing just down the road. I know it's sourced whiskey at the minute, they're doing their own thing now, but what they're doing with the sourced whiskey bodes well for what they're going to do with their own product, and I just can't wait to see what's coming along the line. Really, really like this. Recommend it all day long, and you know what? I reviewed the, the five-year-old double wood there just last week and it's the next one up in the time collection from this and you know what there's not a whole hell of a difference in them in fact depending on your palate and what your legs are you could well pick this over the other I think I give the other was it 85.5 I would give this 85.25 really lovely little introduction whiskey and well done Hinch love this stuff keep up the good work so if you have had a bottle of this folks please pop your comments in down below and let me know what you think and here's to more good whiskey from the Hinch so thanks for hanging out folks thanks for tuning in I really do appreciate it appreciate your support thanks especially to my uh, patrons you guys are top blokes so until the next time folks please look after yourselves look after each other and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it sláinte thanks for watching folks i really do appreciate it please check out these other reviews and if you'd like to support the channel the best way is by subscribing liking and commenting and don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.